Hey guys, it's me and welcome back to another video or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am a sponsored player from Yo-Yo Factory and I post yo-yo reviews and tutorials here on my channel. So if any of that interests you, then make sure you subscribe down below and make sure you hit that notification bell to get any recent updates on my videos because I'm posting every week. And also Minecraft. Now in this video, I am going to tell you the five starter tricks you need to know when starting out yo-yoing. <laughs> If you're an intermediate player, this video might not be as relevant. However, if you are new, these, in my opinion, are the tricks that you definitely need to know for you to move on to the next, more advanced level of yo-yoing. Now, there are many tricks to learn once you're starting. However, these tricks in particular, I feel are essential that you need to learn <laughs> to make it easier for you to go on to the next level of yo-yoing. So let's just get started. <laughs> So first, you're going to need a responsive yo-yo. I am using the Yo-Yo Factory 1. If you don't have this, it's all right. Just make sure you have any yo-yo that is responsive. If a yo-yo is responsive, it means that it comes up to you automatically after you throw it and then tug your hand up. Nowadays, what we use are non-responsive yo-yos. Some of these yo-yos are typically made out of metal and they are built so that they don't come up to your hand automatically with the flick of the wrist. <laughs> yeah, like so. Not gonna come back up. <laughs> so once you throw it, it doesn't come back up and you have to do another trick called the bind to get it back up. But we're not there yet. Before you get there, you have to learn these five tricks. It will make your yo-yoing so much more smoother and uh, just a lot easier for you to understand these like foundation tricks, you know what I'm saying? So once you have your responsive yo-yo, you need to make your slip knot where you put this loop on top of the string and then pull that middle string out. Then you wanna place the slip knot between your first and second knuckle of your middle finger on your throw hand. However, the world is your oyster. You can do whatever you want. You can place a string down here if it feels more comfortable, but arguably this is really the best spot to have your slip knot around your finger. Additionally, you have to make sure that when the yo-yo is in the palm of your hand, that the string is coming from the top instead of the bottom. You don't want that. You don't, you, you don't want that. Okay. This makes sure that the yo-yo rolls correctly off of the string and spins in the right direction. And this video, of course, is assuming that you have learned how to throw the yo-yo properly, but as a little review, you wanna make sure that you make a muscle. You don't wanna drop your hand down all the way to the ground. You wanna keep it up and let the yo-yo roll off your hand. You wanna make sure that you put power within your throw. If you throw harder, the yo-yo will spin longer, you can do more tricks, and you can get it back to your hand more easily. All right, now that we know all of those, let's start with the five tricks. And also, one of the most famous tricks that you will be asked to do or want to learn is walk the dog. In my opinion, this is the worst trick ever created. I hate it! <laughs> All my neighbors hate me. Just my opinion, you know. Of course, even after you get into the more intermediate level and you're doing some flashy, really cool freaking tricks with slacks and blah, 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 you know, people will still ask you, oh, but can you walk the dog? And you know what you're gonna say? You're gonna say, no, okay? You're not gonna do that trick. Why would you put your yo-yo onto the floor and completely wreck it up? Uh-uh, not today. I hate walk the dog. I hate it. I hate it, don't ever do it. So, we're not learning walk the dog today, but if you wanna learn walk the dog, I'll link down a video for you down below, okay? Cool. So now that we know all of that, these are in no particular order, but the first trick you need to know is forward pass. This is what the trick looks like. Sometimes when I'm teaching younger kids, I like to call this trick Spider-Man. So you wanna have your arm down by your side with your palm uh, facing this way. You sorta of wanna throw the yo-yo out. Once you feel the yo-yo at the end of the string, you wanna tug back, turn your hand over, and then catch it underneath. Yeah, I've seen some kids uh, try to catch it like this. It's completely fine once you're learning it. With more practice, definitely make sure you do this the correct way by catching it underhand. But it's fun, and it's called Spider-Man, you know? Not really, for copyright reasons, it's not. The reason why you need to know this trick is that it teaches you control and how to essentially not be afraid of the yo-yo when it comes back to you. There's only one place the yo-yo is gonna go and that's directly back to your hand because it's connected to the string. And number two, rock the baby. This trick is great because you can learn this while the yo-yo is not spinning. This is what the trick looks like. Pretty 
pretty cool. Usually I like to show this by having the yo-yo dead, just stopping it, so that you can learn the hand movements to do this trick. So what you want to do is take your non-throw hand, grab the string about in the middle with your four fingers, like so, and then you take your throw hand and go downwards and pinch the string with your thumb and index finger, and then you sort of want to make a triangle and let this yo-yo swing through. So then once you got this motion down, then you want to try when the yo-yo is spinning. There are many ways to like do this trick. You know, you can like grab it and you can go in front or you can go from behind or like you can do like whatever, I don't know. <laughs> as long as you make some sort of I guess triangle figure and you get the yo-yo through, you're all good. And this trick is great because it definitely teaches you about using both of our hands. And it's also quite satisfying once you like get it down. So now, third trick for Europeans, third trick for Americans, which is the Eiffel Tower, also known as Big Peep Peep. Newly called, not official. This is another trick that you can practice when the yo-yo is dead. So I do recommend just stopping the yo-yo again with your hand. And what you're gonna do is take your throw hand, make an L. Then you're gonna take your non-throw hand and pull the string right here that's on your hand between your thumb and like your the palm of your hand. So you're making kind of like a slingshot with it. And then you're gonna take your non-throw hand and then take that string down here, pinch it and pull it in between those strings. And then I'm going to take the palm of my hand, hi, go inside like this and then go towards this direction and just kind of maneuver it. So then you see the Eiffel Tower, or you can just, you know, it also looks like that, yes. Why you need to learn this trick, it is a picture trick, but to me, I feel it's quite technical to teach you again how you utilize many different strings. You have to drop some strings to get to somewhere else and move your hands. Once you get into more intermediate level, this is of course what you will be doing. So I think this is a great trick to first learn and it totally impresses people. Eiffel Tower, super cute. I mean, come on, you're gonna win all the women. Number four, elevator. So this is a really cool trick. However, it's like an illusion because it's so ridiculously easy. It's really kind of stupid. I'm gonna show you anyway. It looks really freaking cool, I know, right? All you're essentially doing is just moving your hand up and down like this, yeah? Just kind of moving up and down. But it's sort of an illusion, right? It looks like the yo-yo is connected somehow to the string and it's going up. It looks cool, another cool party trick. But yeah, kind of like a little stupid if you think about it. So what you want to do is throw the yo-yo in front of you. Then you want to take your index finger towards the middle of the string, place the yo-yo towards your non-throw hand. And what you're going to do is leave your throw hand still and just move your non-throw hand up the string. Then you want to kind of pop it off and bring it back to your hand. This trick is definitely necessary for you to learn. It teaches you how to use just simply your index finger to do some tricks. It again teaches you control and also how to really utilize like this space when you're yo-yoing. Because here you'll be able to do some like front style yo-yo tricks. And it kind of ties in later to the bind. Not really but we'll talk about that in another video. And finally, number five, breakaway. I did perform this in my previous video, That's reacting to PewDiePie, me. and yeah. <laughs> It's super duper important, like super serial important. Many people who have started out yo-yoing have completely like ignored this trick. It's so easy to want to move on to the more intermediate level to buy like a more expensive and better yo-yo to do unresponsive tricks and just kind of skip this step. Now I can understand that this can be quite frustrating because once you learned how to throw right in front of you and then you're now being told to throw a completely different way and angle and then the majority of yo-yo tricks are done in this new angle. So it's essential to learn that first throw and everything at the beginning so you understand how the mechanic works in putting a more powerful throw and you can spin the yo-yo longer and everything. But actually, the majority of yo-yo tricks are done from here. And it is essential to learn this motion of the breakaway yo-yo trick so that you get a feel of how 
you correctly throw the yo-yo and everything. If it is your first time doing this trick, it is quite frustrating when you're first learning it to throw a new way. But with patience and practice, you all will get this right. And once you do this trick correctly, your smoothness in your yo-yoing will be top tier. So what you wanna do, again, is make a muscle, but not from the front you want to move it to the side. From here, you're going to throw the yo-yo out and then it will go around and once it gets halfway, you tug it back and catch it. It's not so much that you're going all the way around, but it's more like a half moon shape. It definitely helps to visualize that there is a straight line in front of you and that you're moving the yo-yo along. You can definitely try practicing this movement by like already throwing it and then just kind of swinging the yo-yo along this invisible line. And again, this trick is essential because afterwards you will learn the trick trapeze, which is the foundation for all tricks. Yeah, and those are the five tricks you need to learn, and you need to learn them properly when you're starting out yo-yoing. I hope that was helpful to you guys. Let me know in the comments below if there are any other starter tricks that you believe must be learned for any starter person. That's about it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.